Sticks family, my name is Ivana, and today we're going to be coloring eggs. Now, you can like dye and paint them, but today we're doing it the natural way, like most of my grandparents did, because they didn't have these type of things. So, we're all going to be using these natural items. So first, there's going to be green, which is parsley. Then we're going to be using brown onion skins. We're going to be using red onion skins, and then we're going to be using ground coffee. So first, for you can either do it two ways. You can imprint the eggs, or you can just cover them in a full color. Okay. So in order to achieve an imprint on your egg, here's what you need to do. You need to take an egg, obviously. Then you need to take your preferred leaf of parsley. You're going to dip that leaf inside the water, only the leaf, not the egg, and then you're going to put that leaf wherever you desire onto your egg and just stick it on there. After that, you're just going to put it in a sock that you tied on one end and gently do it so the leaf and then you tie it on the other end, just like that. And then you put it in a pot of boiling water with onion skins, and then you'll have to wait for like 15 to 20 minutes. Here you go. Oh, I'm in. Hello. So I got some special guests to show the ready products of our projects. So first, we tried to dye these eggs with the coffee ground, but it didn't turn out as well as we expected because it only changed a little bit with a few speckles. So I would not recommend this one because it's not a very good dye. So now, um, what turned out best was the onion skins. They had really turned out in a very vibrant and nice color. Now, the ones where we imprinted the leaves on them, uh, it did not turn out as we expected because we did not tight this tight the sock enough. So the water swept under the leaf, making it not a very good imprint. Now continuing to the red onion skins, it, it turned out well. It as you can see, it has a very nice reddish orange color. So overall, I think this turned out pretty great. And now we're ready to put them into our egg carton so we can eat them the next day. Bye!